doing? I have a whitetail hunter here. It's April 14th. We had a freeze warning last night. So it's going to be a little uncomfortable out there. Feels like 28 to 32 degrees right now. But we're going to go out there and see if we can't put the sneak on a couple of times early this morning. I think uh, back in that back 40 on the clover plot, I've been trying some different stands and seeing some seeing some turkeys and some deer. And uh, I think morning back there in that clover plot might produce something. So we're going to go back there, try to close the season out this morning. We're going to shoot a long time, hopefully. I don't know what this weather change is going to do, so... We'll see what happens. It's going to be a little chilly, but uh, we'll get her done. So you guys hang along. I'm going to get a little coffee in me so I can get moving here. All right. We'll talk to you after a bit. All right. <clears throat> I will hunt her here back at you from the Rock and Bee. We're getting ready to go on out. <clears throat> it's 28 degrees, about an hour before sunrise. It's... Uh, it's going to be windy later. It's all the bad conditions for turkey hunting. I think they'll come down late. I don't think they're going to be real doing a lot of gobbling. They'll probably come in quiet. I'm going to go to a southern facing food plot, but uh, it is on a hill. So if the wind picks up, you know, they won't be wanting to stay in there, but hopefully we can get them early. They'll dodge in there for a bite to eat and try to warm up in that sun. And, we can roll one and get out of there. But it's gonna be chilly, so let's get it on.
Okay, it's uh, 417. I haven't seen any toms. I've had six hands. Uh, three of them took dirt bass right in front of me here in a, in a dirt bowl. For They take quite a while to get a dirt bat done. And then they ate. They left at their three. And now I just seen another bird coming up the neck, and it was huge. And I looked, and it was a hand. And five minutes later, another bird comes waddling up there. It looked ginormous. I took a look, and it was a hand. Man, them hands are healthy. But I've yet to see a time. So we'll see what happens. Those hands are mulling around down my other, by my other blind. Imagine they'll wander up the field, but we'll see. I'm interested to see how tonight turns out with all these hands and no toms. None of them are making any noise either. This cold front really put the silent treatment to them. All right, we'll see how it turns out. I know this ain't a very good picture, but we got some tom in the field finally. After eight hands. This needs to come up the hill. We'll take him. That's it, baby. Woo. Game over. Man, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull, pull him off them hands. He had three of them. He looked like he's pretty decent size. Whew. What a long day. Sometimes you really work for them. Oh. Well, looked like probably about a 45 yard shot. We'll go down there and see what we got us. Hope he's a nice one anyway. He'll be good on the table. All right, just for a little information, that's the little shed we built, sideways windows and up and down. Same one we got the bird for my grandson out of. I'll shoot a Benelli Super Black Eagle. Turkey choke. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, about fifty-two feet. All right. Holy mackerel! <clears throat> this is one big bird. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, them baby got a hook to them. They're over an inch long. What a bird. Well, Beautiful day to be out hunting. It took quite a while. Went through a lot of hens and that Tom, he was hand up down here. And uh, some hens didn't want none of it though. <clears throat> Finally got a hand up by me and it started calling. 
and uh, he kind of got hung up over here. Then I threw a few mouth calls out the side window and he stepped out here. And he might have came on up there, but he started turning to the right and he could have just as well down, down that draw and I would have been shooting from behind and I wouldn't even have shot. So uh, that's going to be it for first season turkey. We got one for my grandson and uh, I got mine. And I still get a landowner tag for four season <clears throat> if I want to go out, which I love eating turkey, so I would guess I would. Anyway, we're going to go on up to the house and get this cleaned up and get the tag on it real quick and uh, show everybody the harvest we made. We want to thank the good Lord for being out here and guiding my shot true and bringing this turkey up to me because he could have just as well went a million different ways. And, it was quite a deal sticking it out from uh, you know 4:30 on to uh, get this bird. Anyway, this is a rock and bait. We made another hunt out of her. Have a blessed day. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see